It's up to you to see that your body gets the activity it needs for better physical and mental health. Okay guys, it's day three of Camp Gladiator. Wish me luck, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, so that's session one down. There's gonna be another session in about 10 minutes and I'm gonna participate in that one too. Simply because I was late to the first one because my normal trainer is, I guess, on a training week and so I, I had to find this area. Um, so I went through an investigation. I went to uh, a, an elementary school first and I was, that's what made me late is that that was for 5 p.m. not 5 a.m. So I made it here and uh, since I was late, I'm gonna do the second session and I'll check back with you after that. Good morning guys, I'm Steven Streeter and welcome to another morning rant. Today I wanna to talk to you about something that I did today, something that I accomplished. Today was day three in Camp Gladiator and let me tell you something, I killed it. I murdered it. Camp Gladiator was there and I was like, you're gonna die! It's been 14 days since I got my Apple Watch, okay? And I have to say that before I had my Apple Watch, I wasn't tracking anything that I did. So I don't know if, you know, the things that I'm doing now are far beyond. On my first day, I didn't do anything. I didn't work out. So, so I wanted to have, you know, basically a, a way to measure my abilities here. And now today, um, early in the morning, I did something that I had never done previously in all of the days that I've had the Apple Watch. And that is close my calorie burn ring. Before 7 a.m. I did it. And that made me feel so proud and it just got me to thinking about obstacles and barriers that we give ourselves to stop us from doing what we know we should be doing what we desire to do and meeting those goals okay and, and the thing is is this watch it's it's not it shouldn't have anything to do with this and and honestly it's helped me to see something um, about my life previously to these last two weeks. And that is that I would allow obstacles and barriers to get in the way of my hopes, my dreams, my desires, my wants, my needs, all the time. And the fact is, is that no matter what it is, if it has to do with exercise, weight loss, there are constant barriers that we give ourselves um, to, to hold us back and stop us from accomplishing those dreams, goals, and desires. For the longest time, I have been wanting to get out there and exercise and better my physique, get more energy, be able to spend more time with my kids playing as opposed to watching TV, TV or playing video games. And um, when I got this watch, it required financial investment. Just like, just like whenever you have a, a gym membership and you think, yes, I'm gonna pay you know, $400 for two years of this gym membership, and after two years, I'm gonna be so fit and healthy. But the thing is, is a gym membership is not something that stays with you constantly, and it's something that you have to keep returning to over and over again. And like I said before, <laughs> there's so many things that you have to do that are required of that. Now with this, I don't have to go to a gym. I mean, yes, you can take this and go to a gym, and that's fine, that's, that's not what it's about. But for me, the money I paid for this is the same amount of money that I would pay for a gym membership. What I did with this, this uh, Camp Gladiator is I had a coach there, and, and I was able to use this to track you know, my accomplishments throughout the day, and, um, and that allowed me to be able to work harder and longer and burst those barriers that you know would come up every time I was like this is too hard this is difficult this is tiring and it's taught me a life lesson about getting out there and you know don't give yourself barriers and blockades um, because there's enough barriers coming from outside people I mean just today I was given a critique that wasn't helpful or uplifting and uh, it didn't improve it on anything and it came from a source that was basically invalid so I'll, I just have to say that those are barriers coming from the outside that I don't need. And so when barriers come to you from the outside, from outside sources, from other people that are not providing helpful information, just block them out. Don't even listen to them because they're not helpful. To sum up, there's enough naysayers, gatekeepers, and critics out there putting up roadblocks that we don't need to be putting up our own roadblocks on our pathway to success. Thank you for joining me. I'm Steven Streeter. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button down below so you're always kept up to date. See you tomorrow.